to Life is Aisha and today I'm coming to you all with another sneaker review. I'll be unboxing the Air Jordan Flint 13s but before we get into that I just want to take this time to um, briefly just you know talk a little bit about what's going on right now in America. I don't normally talk about social issues on my channel but this weekend this past weekend have been um, extremely tiresome I would say for anyone is black right now and it's just really unfortunate that none of this is shocking at all none of it is out of the norm these are all reoccurring events um things are just now being filmed none of this stuff is new police brutality is not new racism is not new these are things that have been going on and i just wanted to take the time to say that um black lives matter black lives have always mattered Black lives matter today, tomorrow, every day. All lives cannot matter until black lives matter. And anyone saying otherwise, um, you can just stop watching this video right now. Just saying, um, I am black. Um, I will always be black. I can't be anything other than what I am. And I also want to take the time to shout out this brand here. I did a review video for them some months ago. It's um, the name of the company is HGC Apparel, but this is one of the items that I received. It was the Black by Popular Demand um, crop, crop hoodie. So it has their Black by Popular Demand down the arm, and it also has um, this stitching. So yeah, if you all want to, if you want to purchase this or anything else that's black owned, I will have a link in my um, description below. But um, back to what I was saying, the George Floyd video, I personally did not watch it in its entirety. I just couldn't bring myself to continue to watch um, yet another innocent black person get killed on camera. So I chose not to. I watched the clips that were circulating online, but I just didn't want to watch that in full. Eventually, I probably will, but um, I just couldn't bring myself to do that. So we all know what happened, though. We we know what happened. And... Um, it's really sad that they were rather everything that's going on with the protests, the riots, the looting, they were rather that go on than just give us the justice that we are asking for and our individual rights that we should all be given. We should not be having to beg for rights. We should not be having to beg to be treated fairly. I also want to say for anyone out there that is feeling overwhelmed because it is easily to get overwhelmed right now, take a break. Um, this is our fight. This is no one else's fight. And this is something that we continuously have to deal with. We continuously have to live in fear of our lives. So take a break. If you need to take a break from social media for your emotional and mental well-being, do that. Don't sit on social media all day and just watch this stuff over and over. Um, it can affect you in a negative way. I know that for me, I have taken a break um, in certain regards from seeing things because over and over i'm seeing this on my timeline every single day all day um so and personally i use social media you know to um post pics here and there for mine to promote my channel and just to um you know laugh here and there so right now social media is not the place to go if you are looking for like a laugh or just a you know a ha ha moment or anything like that or just a sigh of relief right now it's not um everyone is bringing awareness i personally am bringing awareness also on my channel um that's nothing new for me or my family i was raised um very much so conscious of what the world is that i live in um i salute everyone that has been doing their part as well and i just want everyone to continue to you know be safe um aware of their surroundings right now it's a very dangerous time that we are living in and i want everyone to govern themselves accordingly so um yeah let's just get right into this video i purchased these shoes but first before we get into the video um, I did not purchase these from sneakers. I know I had been on like a little sneakers run, but they said, girl, let's just throw these L's your way. So I took about maybe three or four L's. Um, of course, the Chunky Dunky release, I did not think that I was going to get those. So I wasn't really like, oh my God, like I wasn't mad about it. Travis Scott release, 
I didn't really care too much about that as well. But the two, they really hit me hard, <laughs> were the Royal Toe Jordan 1s. I really wanted those shoes. I'm still on a hunt for those size um, six or six and a half grade school. So if you're watching this video, let me know down below um, how can I get those for retail. I may pay a little bit over retail, but not too, too much because I am a retail person, okay? Um, next... What are the shoes? Oh, the Brazil Dunk Lows. Yeah, I really wanted those shoes. I always love the Brazil colorway. And um, I really I really want those. But I'm not too pressed about them. But those were the two that I was just like, wow. Like, Sneakers just really handed me all these L's. Like, I took a consecutive four L's in a matter of a week. Or maybe a week and a half time span. So, yeah. But I did get the win on these. Not on sneakers. But, um, so, that was five. I take that back. There was five L's that I took. But I got these off of Foot Locker. Um, it was pretty crazy. I assumed this shoe was just going to be a strict general release with a whole lot of pairs being made. And I'm under the assumption that it was, but it was just a real big demand for these. I think in grade school, which is my size, kid size, which I got a, um, a six youth in these, I believe that... It was just a little bit easier for me. I know with men's sizes, um, my brother tried to get them online and he was not able to get them. So, um, and, or, or none of the restocks that they've done. So, that's been pretty unfortunate. Um, but I did get a pair for myself and I also got another pair that I just ordered today um, for someone else. So, I can say just keep your Twitter updates going and try to get in on a restock if um you have not been able to copy it um i hope everyone has been able to so let me know down below if you have the key size comes in a regular um black jordan box nothing too special about that um i kind of was hating because the mesh size they got the og box the little gray box so yeah um i got these in the size six and it just says Air Jordan 13 Retro Grade School, Navy, University Blue. And these they retail for $140. When you open the box up, it's nothing too special. My tissue paper always comes like torn apart like this. I don't really know what why it does. Um, I didn't mess with it or anything. But this is how it comes. And it comes with the little Jordan sticker. So when you take the shoes out the box, this is the shoe right here. And... Uh, what I think of Beauty Right. I have been wanting this shoe for years, I would say. Um, I actually do have a pair of them. I have the 2010 pair. But if you know anything about this release, you do know that um, the pair that came out in 2010, I probably insert a couple pics if I'm able to find them real quick. And because I want to go ahead and edit this video tonight so I can have it up tomorrow um, before five, <laughs> which is how I get off of work. But, um, yeah, so 2010 pair, it did not come with 3M on it. Um, and if you know what 3M is, that means that the reflection of the shoe reflects um, when flash hits it. I will insert a couple pics of that. So, um, yeah, I ended up copying the shoe. A um, little quick backstory. I copped the shoe off of Swoosh. That was when I was kind of like slightly plugged in, I would say. Um, and I was able to get into like the Nike factory here in Memphis. And I was able to... Um, on swoosh and all this stuff so swoosh gives you 40 percent and the nike factory gives you 50 percent so basically i got these um these are not retail for 140 then they probably retail for maybe in kids 110 or 120 something like that um i know they want 140 and um i got them half their price so probably like i may pay like 60 some dollars for them with tax or something like that so um and they were sitting on the swoosh account so um like I said, it could be due to the fact that a lot of people weren't really rocking with the 2010 version because they did not have 3M, which it wasn't a huge um, discrepancy uh, for me whether or not I was going to um, cop the shoe. I knew that I wanted the colorway. The first pair of the shoe came out in 1998. I was probably like, what, five years old then? <laughs> and um, they retroed in 2005, which was the year that I originally really wanted the shoe. Um, but I just wasn't able to, you know, you don't really have your own money then, so you can't really, you know, get everything you want. So, um, yeah, that's why I didn't get the 2005 pair. So the 2010, when I had my own coins coming in, that was my... Um, senior year of 
was it my senior year? Yeah, 2010 into 2011. I graduated 2000. So yeah, that's my senior year of high school. I had my, my own little money coming in. I was doing, you know, I had my little odd jobs and stuff that I would be doing to generate money. So, um, yeah, I was up by my own stuff. I, that's when I really started getting heavy, getting into buying my own kicks. And so this just pair is just very nostalgic for me. I think back to, um, I was in, I think, trigonometry on my phone. And I was telling my brother, I was like, they're on swoosh. I want those. Go ahead and pull the trigger on those for me. And um, I got you when I get home. So, yeah, it's just like a real nice pair to have in hand. But anyway, so let's get right into the shoe. On the toe box of the shoe, you have the tumble leather, which is just very well made. Um, it's just really soft and nice. It's kind of plush a little bit. Um, it's not too soft, but it's not too From hard. The toe box up, into, up to the tongue, it is all tumbled leather. When you get right here to the tongue, you have the Jumpman. It's in this um, baby blue kind of color. On the side panels of the shoe, it is this mesh material. That's where the 3M action is on the shoe. Right here in the little eyelid, you have the holographic image that has 23 and if you turn it in other directions it has to jump somebody in. else used to keep the plastic on theirs i know um i think i don't know if my brother did it but i know for a fact that i did i never really took this plastic off until like it would could just like eventually come off the shoe when i wore it in high school so um yeah fun fact right here um you have the gray suede in the sole of the shoe which is really nice as well it feels really nice um just feels kind of like butter almost like it's very smooth um and like i said before this shoe is very well put together right here you have the panther paws on the shoe and um this right here is the carbon fiber i have seen a couple pairs where um it was kind of like the dye of it was kind of bleeding onto the um, suede right here. But luckily my pair is not like that. That was the first thing I checked when I opened my box up. Because I did see someone um, post a picture that said one of their friends pairs um, came like that. You have the Jumpman right here and it's also holographic as well. Right here where you see the Jordan net, you, if you have never known, it, it does have the 13 underneath of it. If I can pull this up, I will show you. Yeah, so underneath the Jordan is... The number 13 in roman numerals signature kind of rope like laces and i will just pull the other shoe out of the box right quick and here you are size six grade school join 13 flint um i think that's yeah that's gonna bring us to the end of this video i'm over here sweating getting this hoodie <laughs> so um as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching